What up, people? <clears throat> Heading to town, getting ready to get some more supplies for the property. Uh, as y'all saw on my video yesterday on the main channel, I did zero talking and I absolutely loved it. Uh, you couldn't tell I really don't like talking on videos, even though this is an all talk channel. Uh, I feel like I do need to explain certain things and I think moving forward, I want to try to do more of those type of videos where I just work, let you hear more of the natural sounds. Uh, especially when I start building in the shed to house, I wanted to let you guys hear the hammer noises, the drill noise, all sorts of stuff, and just get a full experience like you're actually there working with us. And uh, you will start seeing Matt more on videos once we uh, get the shed out here. He said he'd help me out building. None of us are perfect at building. Uh, Dad has more knowledge than any of us, so he'll be helping out. Uh, more with just his knowledge over the actual physical part. I'm sure he's still going to help out doing a bunch of it, but uh, a lot of the major lifting and stuff's going to be on my shoulders, and I, I want that. I want to be able to say that I did everything myself. I'm still not 100% sure on how to do electrical and plumbing and all that to a T, but uh, I know the, the gist of it, and I want to learn the ins and outs of it, and get the knowledge of old pops, and see what we can come up with, but in the meantime, I, I am heading into Kingsville. I need to run by uh, Lowe's for sure, possibly tractor supply. Uh, we need to get these stumps out of the ground on my property where the uh, the shed house would be, be delivered. And then also on my pad site, there's two uh, trees that were there that we needed to uh, remove the stumps as well and poison them. So uh, dad said we already have the poison. I didn't remember buying it, but I guess we already have it. So I need to get, uh, what I'm gonna do is get a bag of it's not cement, it's some kind of foam that you pour in and it instantly, uh, it's like instant cement basically. And that's what I'm gonna use on a corner post for my chicken coop area. That's what we're gonna try to work on today as well. Uh, auger down, I gotta put in one, two, three, four posts for that. I think I'm just going to hold off on the gate for that until I actually start building the chicken coop out. But I want to get the post in and then uh, maybe set up the trellis for the grapevine in the back of the yard which you guys saw in my other videos as well just the the ones that were just out there the mustang grapes uh, i'm very much looking forward to having those things grow up and actually have like a full-on grapevine uh, i tried a few different times in uh, terrell up there in the dallas property to have a grapevine it just didn't really seem like it took well up there so i know for sure these uh mustang ones will actually grow and from what dad said and what matt said that they've uh that granny used to make jelly i think matt said he made jelly one time out of it and it was really good so uh, between those and then the other grapes that i have there should be some some kind of wine i'm gonna make some kind of south texas roots wine and then also try to make some jellies out of it and whatever i don't eat just throw it to the chickens and to the goats uh speaking of grapes as a lot of y'all saw probably not most of y'all but i posted on my community tab the other day uh, it was actually on easter dad and I were cleaning up the edge of granny's property uh, behind the gas station and y'all just saw the trash everywhere so uh, that's another thing that we're going to try to do is reach out to corporate again last time I reached out to the corporate there they didn't respond back to me they didn't uh, acknowledge my voicemail the pictures I sent or anything uh, the the manager we actually spoke to said that they were that he put in a request to, to put up a temporary fence back there and uh, that still hasn't been done yet, so maybe that's still on the list for them to do. But while we were out there, I decided to go in and talk to the manager that was on duty, uh, a nice young lady, uh, super polite. She was willing to go out there and talk with Dad and I, and uh, she said it was disgusting. Uh, what she saw uh, blew her mind. There was diapers full of human feces, uh, bottles full of piss, uh, there was actually like tanks. There was a some kind of tank out there that Dad pulled out of my granny's yard, which he almost ran over with the tractor, that uh, could have been dangerous. We don't know what it was for or what it was to, but a lot of those truckers just back in, they dump all their crap off and then leave and uh, expect the, the store to clean it up. And uh, so that's something we are gonna, I'm not gonna get into a whole tangent on that, but that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna reach out to them as well and see if we can get them to actually keep up with what they're supposed to be doing out there. So we got a lot of stuff going on today and uh, very much excited to get this going. Like I said, the video I did where I just didn't do any talking, uh, those videos I like watching. Dad and I kind of started watching, a, there's this guy from somewhere, I don't know where he's from, 
Russia or somewhere. I don't know. I could be wrong. But he, he cooks uh, weird types of meats. He cooks whole animals. Uh, I wish I knew the name of the channel. I would uh, tell you guys so y'all could check it out. But he doesn't do any talking until the very end. And all he says is superb or super, something like that. And uh, like I said, he's cooked whole lambs. He's cooked, uh, we watched him cook lamb brains. Just all sorts of stuff. It's very interesting. And he, the way he has his camera guy going from different angles and stuff. I really like the way it looked. He cuts to like nature shots, to the animals, stuff like that. And I want to incorporate that into my video. So I guess the, uh, the best form of flattery is to do something that you see somebody else doing and they should take that as a compliment, not that you're stealing their ideas. So whoever that guy is, thank you for the inspiration. And uh, I think I'm gonna start using that more and more in my videos. And like I said, just a, a lot of stuff going on on the property and we actually, reached out to the guy that's going to be delivering rock uh, so basically what we we decided it's a, a 22 yard uh, belly load truck so it's gonna be an 18 wheeler with the big belly load on it. it's gonna dump it out there for us we're gonna get a load of, of caliche which is the white rock like I mentioned on videos that's what's gonna be the base for the the house and uh, we're also gonna get uh, basically what they ripped up on the highway the asphalt is just crushed asphalt we're going to have that for the roadway so it should pack down really nice or the driveway i should say not roadway uh, so that should pack down really nice and if i need to order more later on i will it's, it's a little pricey but in the long run it's something i definitely need and i want to make sure that uh, we do it right so we don't have to redo it so uh, that's what we're getting into i think that guy should be out here later this week he could have came today maybe tomorrow but it's it's still so mushy out here because we had so much rain recently so he said he'd come out in a few days so i'm hoping by the end of the week i'll have the rock out there we can move we can actually start building up our pad site pack it down really well and then uh do the driveway as, as well so the property should start taking shape uh i ordered my shed on april 4th so it could be May 4th is the earliest, or like I've mentioned before, or it could be the middle of May. I just want to make sure that we are 100% ready to go and don't feel like we're having to get rushed to uh, get all this stuff taken care of. So, like I said, a lot of stuff getting getting done. we got to trim up some trees that are going to be hanging out towards the, uh, the house as well. I sure hope it's not a school zone. I wasn't even paying attention. But... Yeah, anyways, that's what I got going on. Uh, I'm going to start working on that video today. It might be another one where I just don't talk. And like I said, I really enjoy those. It's To me, it's very peaceful. Uh, even though I'm not talking and interacting with you guys, you still get the experience of being right there working with me. And I'm going to try to really work with my microphone since I have the wireless mics to do different shots. Uh, the, the shot of the Blackbird, I think it's a grackle. I think it's what they are down here. Uh, that shot I did on the main channel, I was actually across the property, so I zoomed in real good uh, with my new camera, and uh, I'm very pleased with the way it's coming out. It's not as good a quality as other people's channels, but for me, I really like it. It's a game changer having that camera over just using the GoPro. I did the GoPro for years, and there's only so many things you can do with it. Uh, I like a lot of uh, zoomed in looks where it kind of blurs out the background and stuff, and I think that's really going to come in handy when we start working on this shed house. So. Uh, anyways, uh, I guess one other thing and then I'll end the video. I know I'm all over the place, but it is what it is. Uh, a lot of people are pointing out that I should get a, a fountain for my pond in the front. I actually do have one. It's a solar fountain. I just didn't put it back in on the video. Uh, it seems to be getting clogged up a lot. There's a lot of, uh, I don't know if you guys know that or not, but where the pond was, that property actually had a lot of mulch that we'd put out there years and years and years ago when we were young. Uh, I guess the county had a bunch of mulch and our dad just had them dump it out there and all that stuff decomposed and is in the ground. So the ground there is really, really uh, good to grow stuff. As you can see, everything's thriving on the property. The grass is growing extremely well. And uh, where the pond is, uh, there's a bunch of mulch mixed in with the dirt and stuff. So there's always some kind of mulch and stuff in the water. So uh, it kind of clogged up the the little fountain that I had out there. So I need to just clean it out and then I'll put it back in. But yes, I do have a solar uh, pump for that. And then also, once I get more established on the property, we're gonna try to build some kind of a uh, waterfall out there. The waterfall, I've, I've mentioned it before, but people were saying I need to put a waterfall there. Uh, the waterfall my parents have in their swimming pool, we're gonna try to reuse that 
uh, when they get their new pool, bring that over and try to use that as a maybe a, a fountain for the pond. So just a thought. Uh, I am thinking of some of the things you guys say, but with these videos where I don't talk, I really can't explain too much. So maybe I'll use this channel to kind of explain more of what's going on on the main video. So anyways, I'm almost here in town. I'm going to go ahead and call us in a video. Thank you for watching. I can't do it without you guys. And hope you have a great day, and we will catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye, guys.